right, guys. We're at the bench, obviously. Uh, don't mind the mess. This is uh, seen about a year's worth of soldering. So we're going to do this like any man would, or well, any real man would, and not look up in instructions or go by a manual. So we're going to see what good we can do with it. Uh, I believe from the pictures I've seen, obviously, the legs go on the bottom. So something like that. Uh, obviously, we have our top plate our camera plates those are easy and which really we won't put none of this on for now nor will we put on our landing pads so right now all we're going to do is mount the legs to the bottom of the frame and from there we'll see how far we want to go with it in this video so let's find something to put our screws in nice little empty bag Like always, in every one of my videos, if my kids scream and bother you, deal with it. I got five of them. I hear it all day, every day. Okay, I can't say that, man. They're good kids, so I take that back. And plus, if my wife hears that and I say that, you know, I hear them scream all day, every day, the, the first thing I'm going to get is, no, you don't. You work. And although her job is harder than mine, since she's a stay-at-home mom... I'm I'm not going there, so forget I said any of that. I love you. Anyway, we've got a bunch of screws. Uh, I'm going to assume the longer ones are going to be the ones that go through the legs and the bottom plate and connect into those nice little fancy connections that they sent along. So we'll dig all the long screws out. And they did have them packaged separately. I'm just stupid and decided I did not want to do it the easy way. But instead, I wanted to mix them all up and take up some more of your time. So, we've got 4, 8, 12. Yay, math. Uh, so, that's exactly what we need. we got 3 per arm. 3 times 4 is 13. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not that stupid. Uh, anyway, we've got our standoffs, which, again, we're not going to need for now because all we're doing is building the, the bottom part of the quad. But we will need these little fancy-dancy connections that I actually thought were uh, nylon, but if you can hear, these things are metal. So, that's pretty cool nice and then if you couldn't see in the uh the other video there are standoffs they have that nice uh i don't know man it kind of looks like a like a snake skin scale type thing but very very high quality so let's figure this out move the bottom plate we've got one arm so the first screw yep goes straight through the arm and it's going to fit into the middle hole just like so and this X configuration we will put the flat side because you got a flat side and you got like a convex side and so we'll put the flat side against the frame but inside of here they are threaded so the idea is to screw them into this little doomer hickey and that holds the arm in place now I've heard of other people switching it around putting the arms inside the frame instead for me I'm gonna do it you know how Luminaire says to do it uh, they said they were getting you know pretty good success with it I'm, I'm not sure maybe one day we'll get another uh, QAV R and be able to test that out and then you've got these other connections with one raised side and one flush side. So the flush side is going to be the one that's furthest to the outside for the uh, just to hold the arm. And the one that's raised, I'm going to assume it's going to be on the inside. So our power distribution board and uh, flight controller and everything can set up on those raised 
four holes on the inside. So our next thing, we're just going to concentrate on this one arm for now. Put the screw in again. Uh, like I said, the raised section we'll put on the more inside hole. I left my screwdriver laying over there. Let's see what what are these? Probably two. Actually, you know what I should probably do at this point? Like I said, we're, we're doing this without using instructions or common sense. Choose some thread locker, because I don't plan on taking this thing back apart anytime soon. And I definitely don't want anything falling out or off or in. I'd like it to stay where I put it. <laughs> it didn't feel like it was that long going in. Uh, I can't say that. Okay, sorry. Didn't sound good. So now that we have thread locker on it, let's put her back in. Oh, nice. Should do that in the first place. Let's take this screw out. Put some of the blue junk on it. Put it back in. And because the connection inside is metal, this is a good thing. My dog is outside, if you can hear. I know this is probably boring, but sorry. Hey, look, there's a mistake. Make sure your connection is lined up with the second screw hole before you tighten it down. Or you get to take it apart like I just did. So slide your screw in there, tighten this one down. Now we can tighten it down since we actually got them all in place. Dang on it. Didn't I just say not to tighten it down without having everything in place? Why'd y'all let me do that, man? Alright, so you can see the idea is for all four legs to match up and butt up together nice and strong so you know once it's screwed in if you hit front it's gonna have the other leg to kind of brace itself on as well as the three screws so I mean really it looks like a, it's gonna be a really solid design now as far as putting the legs inside you know people were saying that they were doing that for uh, a, a more I guess compact center of gravity uh, for me, I'm going to run it pretty much the way, you know, Luminaire says to run it for now. And maybe we'll try it again another day. So just like before, line the arm up. And you've already watched me do one, so for these next three arms, we'll speed through it. There's no reason to listen to me babble on about nothing. If you can see, we have all four of our little connections done on the bottom. Or top I guess sorry uh, all the screws on the bottom everything is loctited and down tight we got beautiful carbon cannot wait to get this thing flying and speaking of which instead of just doing a frame build video man let's keep rolling with this thing like I said I, I'm more instant gratification than to uh, sit here and churn out five videos to build the same quadcopter you know, there, there's a bunch of people out there that's already done this kind of stuff, and uh, I want this thing done. I want to fly it. Really, really want to fly this. So let's see how this uh, power board is going to mount. So this board actually looks like it'll mount any way we want it to mount. So we'll set it this way so our battery connection comes out the back, just like normal. We have ESC connections on all four corners. The uh, video transmitter connections here on the right and camera connections on the right as well. So at least this way, what I'll do is I'll run my camera connections and everything through the bottom and up. 
so they kind of stay out of the way. ESC connections are going to come up on the inside and hit it right there. Let's get everything soldered on this first before we do anything else. And you know, like I said before, uh, beginner videos, that's not really what this is. Uh, I apologize. But I don't really want to sit here and teach you how to solder. No offense. So if that's something you need, there's all kinds of videos. This one is more for pretty much just showing you how I build my quadcopters. All right, so our board is tanned. Uh, got a little bit of flux on there, but nothing that we can't brush off later. And our next step that I'm gonna do is put my motors on just to have them lined out. So let me grab some motors. Let's come over to get the ESCs. So the next thing we're gonna do is get the ESCs ready. So by getting my ESCs ready, all I'm gonna be doing is taking the heat shrink off of them. So just cutting this plastic off. I'm going to remove the three motor wires with the uh, little bullet connections. And at that point, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for now and get our wires ran to where we need them. And then that way, We'll cut everything down to size, get our BSE soldered onto our power board, and then put heat shrink over top of our ESCs closer to the center. And with the heat shrink closer to the center, we'll shorten up our motor wires, get our motor wires soldered into place. The Lux flight controller now is able to do the BL Heli pass through. So it doesn't matter, we'll just get our motor wires nice and flat solder them down, bring the heat shrink over our ESCs, shrink it down, and that'll be one arm done. So at this point, all I'm gonna do is remove the plastic, remove the motor wires, and that'll be all for now. And I've got two big standoffs, and all I'm gonna do is just put, our, put these standoffs here just to hold our board in place for now. And this way, I can bring my ESCs in, and when I mount them, I want them with the solder side up. So this one is going to mount about right, I will say, right in here. That gives us a little room for our motor wires, and it's not right up on the frame. So that'll that'll be good right there. So now with these. We're looking on the inside. ESC negative is on the corner. So black will be shorter than red. So we'll bring it right here close. We don't need that yet. So with this way, our black is gonna be right there. So all I do is I lay it over to where it's gonna be. Take my snips and I cut it right between the solder pads. And that way, I don't know if you can see, when it's between our solder pads like that, if we strip it back just you know a millimeter or two, then we'll be able to solder it directly to that pad and it's perfectly in line. So now we'll bring our positive line around. So we got ESC positive here. Same thing as before, we're gonna lay it down, cut it between the pads. And we have two perfectly cut and lined up positive and negative wires for that ESC. All right, we've got all four ESCs connected to ground and power. So right now I wanna take a quick timeout and all I'm gonna do is do a quick continuity check just to make sure we don't have anything bridged. So just touching the, the red and the black. So right now I'm on the red. I mean, nothing, nothing on that red is connected. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. So reds are all connected. Blacks are all connected. So we're sounding good right now. So 
Let's grab our VTX and camera. All right, so on here, we'll just need the yellow and the power and ground for our VTX. And then same thing, you know, the camera line, instead of going straight and connected here, it's going to hit our uh, power distribution board. So first thing that we will do is kind of just hold it up to about where I think it will go and run our lines down the back and up the front and we'll chop them off pretty close it, it don't have to be 100 percent perfect camera will be roughly here and same thing as we did for the other we're going to leave just the tiniest bit of slack on it and we'll call that good Now, we're going to have to do our battery connection. So our battery connection is going to be on our top plate. I just want to put a standoff in there to get an idea of where it's going to be. Now, what we can do, since we got that in pretty solid, is we can cut our motor wires down to size. Let's get some uh, heat shrink in here too. We're gonna get. So now, what we want to do is cut the motor wires to size. So just like we did before, you want to cut them just above the uh, the power pads. Good enough. So we got those in. Move your heat shrink down. Kind of center it over the ESC. Once it's centered over the ESC, use your heat gun, lighter, whatever you got. All right, so, all right, now we got all four ESCs soldered in place. So the next step we could do is, why not, let's go ahead and get some double-sided tape, and we're going to go ahead and stick our ESCs down. Alright, here we go. Lux flight controller. So it's going to mount just like this. I'll come off of the ground and battery right here. Straight up to the ground and battery here. Man, that thing looks good. So, now we can keep going on, man. The same thing we've been doing. Line your uh, ground and signal up to where you want it to run to and you cut it right on the back side of the solder pad strip it, tin it, stick it next to receiver so all I did was uh, take a receiver cut the end of it off receiver line, I'm going to run it under the lux and I'm going to bring it up in the front and I'm going to tack it on these three and the receiver when I get done I'm going to leave it laying on the bottom in the back just like that, because I like my antennas to come out underneath my propellers, and then that way the thrust is always pushing down on my antennas instead of trying to pull it down into the into the props. All right, so we have a receiver on. We have all four ESCs. All right, so now let's put in our camera and our video transmitter. So, here's our camera screws, and we need those to stick it on our board, which I use on my other one, I go in the middle. So, we'll go by other one, I'm in QAV 210. So we'll put it in the middle on this one as well. Need a Phillips head screwdriver. I'll never find one that quick again. Yeah, crap. For some reason, I can never get these stupid things to screw in right. 
Coach Arnold's like, I don't think you really need them in these type of frames. Because I think the frame, I don't know, it don't matter. Uh, where my other wall go? Gonna work out pretty good right there. Not bad at all. All right. So let's go ahead and take this off. I'm gonna put my standoffs in and attach them to the bottom first. So we got standoffs. Let's put the camera back in. There we go. Go ahead and put our top plate on. So, got TBS uh, Triumph antenna. Really liking these things. Let's get this thing screwed on here. And some double sided tape. If you can't see, double sided tape is amazing. If I could have a sponsor in anything non quadcopter, it would be double sided tape. Pretty sure I keep these guys in business. Uh, let's get our little pieces of black zip ties. And we are going to zip tie our antenna twice. Because, I mean, yeah, they have the hole for the SMA. And I'm sure a lot of people, you know, like it and use it, but I prefer not to, you know, because I mean, this way, what I'll do is I'll take another zip tie and I'll just tie it right here around the hole and hold my antenna with two zip ties on the back. And instead of using the, the SMA connector, RB SMA connector, whatever you have, through the hole, this way I've got two zip ties holding the antenna and if I crash, you know, it's just going to bend it down. Instead of having that force on that little piece of the frame. I don't know, it works for me. I'm sure, you know, other people, like I said, use it as intended. But, you know, this is just, uh, it's my build, so get off of it, man. But, uh, yeah, anyway. So your LiPo connector slides in like that. We are almost done, fellas. Almost done, and ladies. So now, the next thing is how I mount my antennas. Which, like I was saying, I come off the back bottom. Uh, let's see what colors we got. Let's go put some, uh, yeah, we got black quad and silver motor. So let's go with silver. Great. Whatever. And I put it to where the zip tie kind of fades out from the center. So put it low into the bottom, pull it as tight as we can get it, without going too crazy with it. Same thing on this other side, that comes from the outside. And this is how we secure our antennas. So pretty much what's going to happen is you got your two zip ties, get this other one tight. Got your two zip ties. Our antenna is going to lay right up against them, and we're going to take some uh, heat shrink. And let's find some smaller heat shrink here. Take the heat shrink down the antenna and the zip tie, and when they get down to the bottom, we'll shrink them in place. Done. I really don't want to power it up yet. I want to take it up. Plug it into a computer. Make sure my flight controller is looking good. But I mean, really, it's looking it's looking pretty pretty nice. Let's put these landing pads on it. I had them just in the middle of the arms. 
like I said on the website, man, these things, they're actually, I thought they were like foam, but they're a very dense material. So they, I mean, they, they take some, uh, they feel like they'll take some beating. And worst case, man, they're really cheap. They look good. And they weigh one gram for all four. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. So there we go. We have the Lumineer QAV R done. Just needing props. Our antennas, you know, they're they're pretty solid back here. Not going anywhere. Let's see what this thing weighs right now. Let me get my Velcro on it so we can kind of get a feel for it. You know what? I can even get one of the uh, batteries. So let's see. And like I said, this will have a GoPro on it, but not right now. I got to make my... Alright, we are looking at move this, move this. So right now as it sets, 324.6 grams. So that's you know no battery, no GoPro, no props. You know, this is not gonna be my racing quad. I I lied, I it probably will, because it looks awesome. So stick your battery on top. We are at 471.7 grams with a battery. So, you know, plus a GoPro. Let me see. All right, stick a GoPro on top of it. 571.5 grams. That's with 1300 4 cell 60C battery. A GoPro with a hover ship case plus lens protector. And the only other thing I'm missing now would be one piece of Velcro, four props, and my GoPro mount. So you're probably looking at, I don't know, low 600s. But, I mean, for a acro quad, that's not going to be bad. And then if we wanted to take it down to race, you know, it's going to be running to probably 475. And that's on the heavier, you know, 206 or 2206 motors. So I'm I'm pretty happy with it. It's gonna be uh it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna go eat dinner, plug in uh the quad to the computer, get it playing around, and hopefully be able to do another video soon uh for the maiden. So appreciate everybody watching. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to uh get FPV Lumineer, really appreciate you guys sending this to me. And it didn't take too long. Looking at probably about two hours to put everything together and do a video. So uh, thanks, guys. You know, like I always say, like, comment, please subscribe. And uh, really thank you so much for watching. Good night, guys.